guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know my name is Brittany and I focus on all things paranormal and creepy so if you like that stuff just as much as I do definitely make sure to hit that like button for me and hit that subscribe button for me down below this is my new shirt Air Pastel has a huge uh not huge but they have a pretty big selection of coca-cola apparel right now and my dad's one of his favorite things was coca-cola so like all the like the drink and then merchandise from it so any or since he passed anytime i see something coca-cola i'm like i need it and i thought this was just really cute i obviously had to get it but anyways let's dive into our topic for today so we're going to be talking about the dust ship of platte river on Platte River between Torrington and Alcova in Wyoming, there is said to be a ghost ship of death. The ship gives no warning on its arrival and it will suddenly rise out of a strange mist that quickly becomes a massive ball of fog. Now, as the ship moves closer, witnesses notice that its sails, its masts, and even the people are covered in frost. The crew stand upon the deck of the ship and they are always huddled around something. And witnesses will quickly notice that what they're huddled around is a corpse. When the crew steps away, the witness will see the corpse's face. And it's usually a face of a loved one who will die that same day. Every case of the ship that's reported is always in the late fall and in every case the corpse that's seen dies that same day the ship was mostly sighted in the late 19th century in the early 20th century sightings were documented by a psychological research facility in cheyenne wyoming for over a century the ship seems to appear around every 25 years and it always appears in the afternoon not at night but if it appeared at night it would be a lot easier to like to just write it off and just explain it away as misinterpreting something or you know when you think that you see something like you think you see something in someone in your room at night and it's really just a pile of laundry that you haven't put away yet Kind of like that. Even though there is water pouring in from the Pathfinder Dam on the North Platte River, and that that dam and the water pouring in can stir up quite a bit of mist, it's not enough to explain the sightings away. The first report of this ghostly ship happened in 1862. A trapper by the name of Leon Weber saw the ship. At first, he said that all he saw was this enormous ball of fog. So he rushed to the river's edge because he wanted to get a closer look. Just curious, you know? And he even decided to throw a stone into the fog. Then appeared the ship. Mast, sails, and sailors were all covered in frost. Sailors were crowded around something that was lying on the ship's deck. When they stepped away, he could see a corpse of a girl. As he looked closer to this corpse, he became horrified. The corpse's face, he immediately recognized as his fiance. When he returned home a month later, he learned that his fiance died the same day he had encountered the ghostly ship. Now, in another sighting, a cattleman by the name of Jean Wilson, was rounding up his cattle when his dog had began barking. His horse got spooked and ran off. After Jean had chased down his horse, he tied him to a scrub pine and then walked on foot to go get his dog and figure out what his dog was barking at. And that's when he saw the ship. The ship was almost motionless despite how strong the current was in the waters around it. The sailing vessel seemed frozen. Just like before, it had sparkling mist that surrounded it. The crew was on deck, but this time 
The captain had motioned for the crew to lower a frost-covered piece of canvas that was suspended by ropes at its four corners. As the canvas reached the deck, a sailor drew the cloth back. Wilson was horrified when he saw that the corpse was his wife. The ship vanished when Wilson let out this horrified scream. He immediately raced home and found that his house had been burned. Two ashes and his wife's body was laying around 100 yards away. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. 25 years later, Chip would appear again. A man by the name of Victor Heeb was chopping firewood near the bank of the North Platte River. He decided to take a smoke break. And as he held his match to his pipe, he noticed fog coming towards him literally out of nowhere. He was in awe as this swirling mist changed into a sailing ship that was covered in ice. Now a sail was blocking him from getting a good look at first. He noticed that the crew was standing on the deck and that he could hear voices. Victor heard a man saying that he was innocent and another man saying that they were only carrying out his duty. At that point the sail was drawn up and Victor could get a clear view of what was happening on deck. On the forward deck stood a gallows and there was a man's body hanging from it. He looked at the man and he realized that it was his best friend. It just so happened had been tried and what Victor had believed wrongly convicted of murder. And the last Victor had heard of his friend is that his friend had escaped from prison. He would later find out that his friend had been captured and put to death the same day that Victor had seen the ghost ship. I mean, personally, I always loved the idea of seeing a ghost ship, just encountering one. I think that'd be so cool, but I don't want to encounter this one because I don't want to see any sort of premonition or anything about losing a loved one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm really interested on what you have to say about it. If you have any other ghost ships or anything else that you want me to cover definitely make sure to leave that in the comments down below also like this video hit the subscribe button for me it helps me out so much you guys and until next time i love you guys bye